for eight years now. That's right. So we started uh, chatting first on a um, social network for gay dating, and then uh, it was just a one-time chat, though. Uh, but it was a very meaningful chat, and uh, after that, nothing really happened. We didn't meet. Nothing. So we just, just stopped there like for a year or so. And then straight after that, um, I decided like to um, to connect with Clayton again. So I sent him like a casual like, hey, how are you? And from then on, um, we became in contact again. And basically then we decided to actually meet face to face. That's right. It wasn't yeah. like a normal like proposal thing. I mean, basically, since we had been already living together for like eight, six years or so. The natural stuff to do to um, get into the civil union and start the process and the procedure to, to uh, enlarge Possibly, our yeah. family. Yeah. Family yeah. and close friends. Well, they were very, very happy. Um, like with the news, of course. Did it here in Malta. Uh, we, st we like waited for a year or so, and then we started the discussion um, to see if we want to take the next step. And yes, in June last year, 2015, we, we, we tied it up. <laughs> um, nothing really is exaggerated. Um, in fact, we've had a really small, yeah, very small intimate wedding, so like with fifty people invited. Um, but it was something which I am really happy we did. No, it was uh, quite something we did it in Indina yeah. at Indina. Because um, like Indina is one of our, I yeah. think our, it's a place like close to our heart as well. Because we just live in Rabat, so basically um, we love Indina a lot. So we thought might as well have it over there. And we got a special friend of ours, uh, Mario. Um, he's the spiritual kind of guy, so before the re public registry came, um, he did like a little talk about what is love and he related it to how a gay couple can relate to the love of God. Um, and then we proceeded with the civil union part and then it, we went, like we had a really nice, nice yeah. Yeah, like trip around Indina with a vintage bus no, outside Indina. And then we came back, we had the, the dinner, and basically that was it, but it was really special. Yeah. We were there, like, in bang in the middle of the square amongst, like, other people. I think it was, like, one of the moments which I would never, ever forget, because, I mean, for me, it felt like total recognition that you're, like, placed on the same um, playing field, having the same equal rights, and you're just at par with everyone else in society. So it meant a huge, huge deal for us. My mother, my sister, and her yeah. partner came along as well. So it was really strange, but really I was really happy that they were there to celebrate this moment. Um, yeah, I mean, the atmosphere was electrifying, really. So we'll be 60, and I would not consider ourselves to be old, because, I mean, as they say, like, 60 is now the new 40. Yeah. So basically, I would like to think like we're still up and going, like living an active lifestyle kind mm. of thing. And um, ah, hopefully by then um, we would have kids yeah. and we would be like sharing memories with them. And um, yeah, basically, I think, yeah, I mean, hopefully, even... you know, like enjoy the, the, the fruits of our work and, you know, enjoy life more, like maybe relax and probably not fully retired, but yeah, exactly. <laughs> Serendipity. <laughs> um, I think unexpected. Mm -hmm.